Preston Laird, uh, position shooting guard, hometown is Memphis, Tennessee. This upcoming team this year? I'm trying to think of something awesome and inspiring and powerful <laughs> to say, but it's just not coming to me. You look around and there's a lot of Memphis faces. So it's always it's always special to see a team that, you know, represents the city to the fullest. And I think this this team definitely does. <laughs> the first word that comes to mind. Uh, goofy. <laughs> That's the first word that came to mind. He's, he's, he's goofy, but you know, he's, he's goofy, but give him credit. You know, he is a special, special coach, and he's going to do big things in the coaching community. The eye of the Tiger always pumps me up. I love that one. And then the one they play, uh, I don't even know the name, um, We Will We Will Rock You or whatever it's called. You know what I'm talking about? Play that funky music, white boy. No, I'm just kidding. My favorite all-time Tiger player. Wow. There's been, there's been some good ones that have come through. That's, that's a tough decision. Uh, I gotta go with Earl Barron. Gotta go with Earl, because when I was a ball kid, Earl, uh, he was never, never too serious or never too good to play with me, I guess, and goof around with me. Earl's down in the gym right now getting better. <laughs> when I graduate summa cum laude with honors from the University of Memphis, that'll be my proudest accomplishment. On the court, I would say my proudest accomplishment was earning a scholarship and being named co-captain my sophomore year. Oh, oh, I'm real proud of going to that NCAA career in sports forum I went to this summer. I would say probably when Wesley hit that that game winner against St. John's, that was a lot of fun. Of course, Antonio Anderson hit one against Tulsa to keep the uh, CUSA streak alive my freshman year. I probably look up to my mom the most. No offense, Dad. I love my dad. By leading by example in your actions, I'd say my mom is one of my biggest heroes because she, um, what she just does with her life, she works in geriatrics at nursing homes and she's just the sweetest lady ever and she doesn't let, you know, anything really bother her. She's always trying to please other people. I know altruism comes to mind, an altruistic person, and it's hard to say that someone can be truly altruistic, but I think she comes pretty close to that, so I look up to her.